Here's the very interesting problem where you need to determine the value using index and match Excel formulas. Specifically, you need to determine the math grade for Prisha Patel. You're presented with the range of values, which includes student name, physics, math, chemistry, and biology grades. And you need to enter the formula to calculate the value. Do you see the solution? Do you know how to solve it? Let's move forward and solve this challenge together. We can solve this challenge in two steps. In step one, we need to use the match formula to identify the ID for the row with Prisha's name. First, we need to select what we are looking for. In this case, we can either type the full name for Prisha, or we can use asterisks and just type the first name. Second value for the match formula is the range. We need to select the range from A2 to A11. And third value, we need to specify what type of match. In our case, we will be doing exact match where we need to select the value of 0. Once completed, formula returns value of 6, which represents ID for the row where Prisha's name is located. Once we've identified the row, we need to find the second column in this row to return the math grade for Prisha. To do this, we start typing the formula, select the range B2 to E11 to identify all the grades, then enter the match formula to help identify the row where Prisha's information is located. And then we enter the column ID. And looks like I mistyped the formula and entered extra apostrophe. Once I remove this extra apostrophe and hit enter, the correct value is returned, which is the math grade for Prisha. The final formula looks like this. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's the question which tests your knowledge of modern Excel formulas. You are presented with the list of student names in the column A, and you need to decide which Excel formula should you use to retrieve the value of the row with ID 7. The value in this row is Prisha Patel. You have four different choices to select the correct formula. Choice A, formula row. Choice B, formula find. Choice C, formula index and choice D, formula match. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. See if you can pause this video to come up with the right solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and share with you the correct solution to this problem. As you might have figured out, the correct formula is index. In fact, index returns a value of the element in the table or in the array selected by the row and column number indexes. When entering index formula, you need to enter the array and provide the row number. The column number is optional. In the case of this particular question, to retrieve the value of the row with ID 6, you need to enter the index formula and then select an array of values starting from the row with ID 2 and then enter the value 6 because our array of values starts with the actual values that was the title of this range. Once you hit enter, you see that the correct value was selected by the formula. Do you see any other solutions? Do you know any other formulas that will help accomplish this task? Please make sure to post them in comments. Here's an interesting question, which we started to see on the test more and more often. There are multiple hidden worksheets in the current Excel workbook. You need to demonstrate how you can unhide all the worksheets that contain string N2 in the title. And you need to use Excel Simulator to complete the steps. Let me go ahead, move forward and reveal the solution for you. To accomplish this task, you need to right-click on the Sheets portion in Excel and select Unhide. Once you do this, you see all hidden tabs or all hidden worksheets in Microsoft Excel. Our goal is to select all the worksheets that contain N2 in the title. You can hold the shift button and select four worksheets in my case. And once you do that, you can click OK. And you can see that now all the worksheets with the N2 in the title are visible. If you have an alternative solution to this challenge, make sure to post it in comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, Please give us a like and consider subscribing.
thanks for all your endorsement, support, and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections, or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.